What's up you guys? You guys probably get excited just like we do about new things coming out on Netflix, especially originals, because in the past yeah. couple of years, they are just making some amazing stuff. So there's some new original shows and movies that are gonna be coming out, as well as a show that's gonna be returning to Netflix for another season mm -hmm. in March, and we're gonna tell you all about them, starting with Burning Sands, which is a movie that was optioned by Netflix after premiering on January 24th at the Sundance Film Festival. Mm -hmm. It's actually produced, well, well, one of the executive producers okay. is yeah. Common. Which is cool. He's yeah. he's doing something in 2017. He does all kinds of stuff. <laughs> he acts, music, now he's producing stuff. So the film follows the hazing process of a college. We don't know a ton about this because uh, looking, I, I looking it up there... All right, well, we don't know a ton about hazing, but as far as the, the full plot, we don't know a ton because yeah. we weren't able to find a trailer and uh, we weren't able to find much of a synopsis of the entire thing, just a basic gist of that's what it is and yeah. some, some reviews and stuff after the Sundance Film Festival, yeah. but and apparently they're diving into that plot. Yeah, and one of the main people that we know is Alfre Woodard, who's from Luke Cage and a series of unfortunate events. We like her a lot. Mm -hmm. She's amazing in Luke Cage. Yes, and then we have have Trevor Jackson, Steve Harris, and Tosin Cole. From what we hear, we'll see. It got a really good response at the film festival, right. and it must have if Netflix thought it was good enough to grab and put on there. Next up, we have season two of Love, which is a Judd Apatow produced series. So I haven't seen the first season. You have. I definitely have. I've and seen the trailer mm -hmm. and it and looks it's hilarious. And it's a great show. It's uh, definitely worth watching if you haven't seen the first season to the point where I was really excited to get a second season because the way the first season ends is like there is definitely going to be a second season if they're allowed to do it. Mm -hmm. And if you know nothing about this, it follows the relationship of these two people in Los Angeles who are just, they're kind of broken. They're broken and messed up. <laughs> just and like everyone else here. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little more, <laughs> it, it goes all over the place, but it is a little bit more realistic of a situation. It's not right. like, this perfect person found this perfect person. It's this broken person found this mm -hmm. broken person, and they're on again, off again, because they can't seem right. to make it work because they're broken. Two very funny people star in it. We have Jillian Jacobs and Paul Rust, and they are both just comedically perfect, their chemistry is hilarious, and it just, you have to check it out. And then we have Iron Fist, of course, the next Marvel uh, series uh. that's gonna be coming on Netflix. If you've been following the series <laughs> on Netflix, with Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, then you have been waiting for this. Yes. And you know it's gonna be incredible. And the fourth Defender. The fourth Defender. So we're going to have the Defenders. Later on in the later year. Later on. But we have to meet the two fourth Marvel one first. Men. Two Marvel sh shows on Netflix. Yeah. They do so well. Oh, and I don't care if you hate them, because, because I love them. Because we love them. <laughs> so if you know nothing about this, or nothing about Iron Fist, we right. have the actor Finn Jones, who's playing the Iron Fist, obviously, mm -hmm. who is a martial arts expert in New York City, and his ability is to actually call on the power of the Iron Fist and use right. it to fight crime. Like Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Yes. <laughs> I, this is how he fights. Iron <laughs> Fist fights like this. Right. It's gonna be a really exciting show. So Colleen Wing is gonna be played by Jessica Henwick, and she's the owner of a martial arts dojo and an ally to Iron Fist, and that's one of the new characters. And then Rosario mm -hmm. Dawson, of course, the glue that holds everyone together is going to be there as well. And apparently joins the Wings Dojo. Apparently uh, Rosario Dawson wants to learn how to fight a little better and help the cause. Either that or she's just trying to do that so that she can get closer to Iron Fist and make him part of this whole <laughs> team thing. She seems, as you said, she is she's the glue. The glue. <laughs> she's the Coulson of the Netflix world. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have Deidre and Lainey Rob a Train, which premiered at the Sundance on January 23rd. A mother is put in jail and two young girls are forced to rob trains and then an investigator is in pursuit of them and they successfully complete a heist and this you know, looks it, really good it looks cool it looks super fun it, uh, and the situation when is, they have weird titles like that it's yeah. either it's either hit or miss yeah and the trailer at least looks like it's gonna be very good yeah and the situation is these girls uh, they're not I guess to say forced to rob a train is, is usage, but they right. at this point they have no money, no income, no no parental 
guidance <laughs> guidance of any kind and they're like well we're not going to even be able to go to college or eat or do mm -hmm. anything that we need to do so let's rob yeah. a train because you know that's the first thing you think that's what you jump to so in it we have rachel crow who mm -hmm. will be playing laney ashley murray who will be playing deidre and then missy pyle mm -hmm. danielle nicolette and Tim Blake Nelson, who's going to be the investigator. Which is basically the one person that I know I know. Right, we definitely know him, and if you yeah. look at the trailers, you'll definitely recognize him from a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I immediately jump to, oh brother, where art thou, yes. when I look at him, because how could you not? <laughs> Next we have Samurai Gourmet. We can only find out a little bit of information on this, because it's going to be a 12 episode live action series based on a manga of the same name that was made by Masayuki Kasumi. Mm -hmm. And we were able to look up what the manga is about. I don't know if it's manga or manga. I always say that wrong. Uh, we like were GIF or GIF. GIF or GIF, yeah. <laughs> but we were able to look up what that's about and we, it, from what we understand, it's going to be the same thing. So the manga tells the story of a retired man named Takeshi Kasumi, who with extra time on his hands awakens an inner persona of a wandering samurai living during Japan's age of civil wars. So he searches to satisfy himself and the samurai's soul with food. With food. <laughs> it's our understanding that each of the manga issues that would come out yeah. would have a different cuisine in them. So we don't know if this is actually gonna teach you about Japanese cuisine, or if it's like an adventure or just, story, or if... The, we have know. no idea what this is. I'm gonna have to find it and read it. Yeah, apparently it's popular enough to make into a series though, so... Right. Well, there's been other animated series that are like focused around action style, food-based things. We don't even know if there's gonna be action so. in it. <laughs> If you know about this, please let us know, because yeah. everything we've looked up, we haven't been able to find information, including going to Netflix and their media stuff and reading that. There is the very little other than, other the, than the basic gist of that. <laughs> Next up, we have 13 Reasons Why, which is based on a book series of the same name. And it's about a girl who commits suicide and leaves behind a series of cassette tapes explaining why she decided to end her life. It sounds like it's gonna be a mystery thriller. The way that they're presenting right. it in the teaser looks like it's gonna be kind of a mystery thriller situation. Mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, it's, I mean, it obviously doesn't look like a comedy. For right. sure, no, but uh, if you if you watch the teaser, definitely right. does not look like that. Well, the two people we know in it are Catherine Langford and Dylan Minnette. From what we can tell, that's going to be the kind of thing. I mean, if you're dealing with suicide and a girl who's giving out cassette tapes to explain to these people right. why they killed her, and and the main portion of the trailer, the teaser trailer, just shot in front of a bunch of high school lockers. Yeah. So, so we we know very little. If you've read the book, you probably know more than us. Please mm -hmm. don't spoil it in the comments, but if you want to let us know a little bit of a tease yeah. so that we know what we're walking into, that would be cool. Tease us more. That came out right. Gross. And then finally, we have a movie called The Discovery, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival on January 20th. And this has a hell of a cast and probably looks like looks the best of the awesome. movies that are coming out in March. It takes sure. place soon after the existence of an afterlife has been proven scientifically. Jason Siegel plays the son of a man who made the discovery, which is played by Robert Redford, and the son falls in love with the woman played by Rooney Mara, who has a very tragic past. And apparently people are just trying to off, off themselves, themselves because they want to go to the afterlife. We Which don't want to play this game anymore. Yeah, it's a really interesting twist to yeah. be like, oh, the afterlife exists and it's really nice. And it looks like we're following I'll... two people that don't want to do that or they're battling with the idea. I don't know. I don't think they like the idea of it because yeah. but... he definitely in the trailer is like, people are just going to keep committing suicide. Right. we got to stop this. It seems like... Yeah, well, Jason Siegel in a serious role alongside Robert Redford and Rudy Mara. The cast is great. The yeah. plot is completely interesting and unique. And this is, of all the movies that are coming out on yeah. Netflix that this are uh, that are original, this is my pick too. Yeah, well, for movies, Iron Fist for sure. Oh, Iron Fist for sure. Hands down. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is the best movie? And obviously we already know your answer to the TV show. Probably but Iron Fist. But put it down in the comments. <laughs> uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say or if there's anything that we missed because we are human. 
<laughs> and if you want to see another video from us, click right there. If you want to see a video from our channel, Boss Level 8, something to make you laugh, you can click right down there. If it's your first time here, if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button to let us know you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you in the next video. They're just, they're kind of broken. They're broken and messed up. <laughs> just and like everyone else here. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little more, <laughs> it, it goes all over the place, but it is a little bit more realistic of a situation. It's not right. like, this perfect person found this perfect person. It's this broken person found this mm -hmm. broken person, and they're on again, off again, because they can't seem right. to make it work because they're broken. Two very funny people star in it. We have Jillian Jacobs and Paul Rust, and they are both just comedically perfect. Their chemistry is hilarious, and it just, you have to check it out. And then we have Iron Fist, of course, the next Marvel uh, series uh, that's gonna be coming on Netflix. If you've been following, see. it got a really good response at the film festival right. and it must have if Netflix thought it was good enough to grab and put on there. Next up we have season two of Love, which is a Judd Apatow produced series. So I haven't seen the first season, you have. I definitely have. I've and, seen the trailer mm -hmm. and it and looks it, hilarious. And it's a great show. It's uh, definitely worth watching if you haven't seen the first season to the point where I was really excited to get a second season because the way the first season ends is like, there is definitely going to be a second season if they're allowed to do it. Mm -hmm. And if you know nothing about this, it follows the relationship of these two people in Los Angeles who are process of a college. We don't know a ton about this because uh, looking, I, I looking it up there, right, well, <laughs> we don't know a ton about hazing, <laughs> but uh, as far as the, the full plot, we don't know a ton because yeah. we weren't able to find a trailer and uh, we weren't able to find much of a synopsis of the entire thing, just a basic gist of that's what it is and yeah. some, some reviews and stuff after the Sundance Film Festival, yeah. but and apparently they're diving into that plot. Yeah, and one of the main people that we know is Alfre Woodard, who's from Luke Cage and a serial series of unfortunate events. We like her a lot. Mm -hmm. She's amazing in Luke Cage. Yes, and then we have Trevor Jackson, Steve Harris, and Tosin Cole. From what we hear, following <laughs> the series on Netflix with Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage, then you have been waiting for this. Yes. And you know it's gonna be incredible. And the fourth Defender. The fourth Defender. So we're going to have the Defenders. Later on in the later year. Later on. But we have to meet the two fourth Marvel one first. Men. Two Marvel sh shows on Netflix. Yeah. They do so well. Oh, and I don't care if you hate them, because, because I love them. Because we love them. <laughs> so if you know nothing about this, or nothing about Iron Fist, we right. have the actor Finn Jones, who's playing the Iron Fist, obviously, mm -hmm. who is a martial arts expert in New York City, and his ability is to actually call on the power of the Iron Fist and use right. it to fight crime. Like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Yes. What's up, you guys? You guys probably get excited just like we do about new things coming out on Netflix, especially originals, because in the past yeah. couple of years, they are just making some amazing stuff. So there's some new original shows and movies that are gonna be coming out, as well as a show that's gonna be returning to Netflix for another season mm -hmm. in March, and we're gonna tell you all about them, starting with Burning Sands, which is a movie that was optioned by Netflix after premiering on January 24th at the Sundance Film Festival. Mm -hmm. It's actually produced well, one of the executive producers okay. is yeah. Common. Which is cool. He's yeah. he's doing something in 2017. He does all <laughs> kinds of stuff. He acts, music, now he's producing stuff. So the film follows the hazing...